From the death of basketball superstar Kobe Bryant to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepping away as royals, to all of us living through a global pandemic while calls to end racial injustice boiled over into our streets. The year 2020 has been one major headline after another and we're only in August. One person saw a lot of this coming. Talking about medium, Alison Dubois, the New York Times bestselling author many times over, has a new book called Love Can't Tell Time, Why Love Never Dies. That's available next week and she'll be reaching her fans starting today in a new Way with a podcast called The Dead Life. So amidst all of this, Allison taking some time to check in with us here on Good Morning Arizona today. And please just explain to me <laughs> what is going on in 2020. And please tell me it'll come to an end and 2021 will be a different picture. Well, thank you for having me, first of all. And if you think that this year isn't significant, the last time that we saw a Pluto-Jupiter conjunction was 1918 with the Spanish flu and 1981 with AIDS. So we knew that this year was going to be a big year with health and viruses being an issue. Pandemic is a term that no living astrologer would have ever lived through. So to put the label pandemic on it would be something that we knew the virus would affect the world. We didn't know to this extent. However, there were astrological aspects speaking to the fact that we were gonna be all about family, innovation and the virus this year. So I think we've seen wow. all of that. We also had aspects telling us that family was gonna spend more time together and go back to traditional values. Well, what could make people around the world all at once, families go back to traditional values, something that keeps you inside. So there were markers mm -hmm. telling us what was coming. Everything that's unfolding right now is for a reason. And you did ask about 2021. After December of 2020, there will be a post-2020 and a pre-2020. So life as we know it will turn into more of an innovation sort of a lifestyle. I think, I believe that more hand washing, masks, people are going to be more privy to them. People are going to decide they want to eat indoors. Scott Passmore might get married. <laughs> <laughs> because because pe people who have been withholding <laughs> from marriage and relationships are going to come out of the pandemic and say, wow, I don't want to be alone. I really need somebody. I need a partner. I'm ready for it. So you're going to see a lot of weddings and babies. <laughs> So the good thing is we've got new perspective after going through this crisis. I imagine, though, Allison, clients of yours are reaching out to you from all over the world, wanting some uh, grounding maybe during a, a time that just feels so out of control for, for so many of us. So is this an opportunity also for people to connect to the ones that they've lost for some kind of guidance? Well, I mean, absolutely. And I am reading people around the world. So I'm hearing in different countries what's going on with people and how they're being impacted. I would have to say with the people that I've read, the people that are able to move about a little bit more freely, get dinner to go and eat it at home are faring better than people that are just locked inside. So it seems that most people are actually finding a strength in their relationships, a closer bond with their children they're figuring out how to do things in ways they never thought they'd have to before, but they're doing it. The energy of this year is construct or destruct. People are either going to be constructive and take what's being thrown at them and make it work in their favor, or they'll become destructive, which can be turning to alcohol, turning to drugs. Um, weaker minds will choose that path, but the choices that we're making right now are incredibly important to the rest of our lives. So 2020 is no joke. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't mean no, that it, you is... can't, it doesn't mean that you can't make memories that your children, when you're gone, will look back and say to their grandkids, you know, 2020 was the pandemic. And I remember during the pandemic, my dad built a tent with me or my mom taught me how to make cupcakes. Yeah. And I had the best time with my parents that year. Okay, Allison, thank you so much for giving us that perspective. We'll be constructive rather than destructive during a difficult yes. time. So again, uh, the new podcast is live today, your book next week. So we thank you so much. You'll also uh, see Allison judging the Mrs. Arizona pageant virtually this weekend. So Allison Dubois, 
thank you so much. We'll talk again in 2021, maybe as we plan Thanks, that Thanks, Olivia. I, I'd love that. <laughs>